I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm here to read you another story about fall time. We've been reading a lot about fall, about leaves and pumpkins and all kinds of things. And today we're going to visit one of our old friends because we're going to read a book called Splat the Cat and the Pumpkin Pick and Plan. Pumpkin Pick and Plan? What is Splat going to do? Is he going to go out pumpkin picking? Wonder what he's looking for. I wonder why he has to have a plan. We need to get into this fall time book and find out what happens when Splat the cat goes looking for a pumpkin. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Splat the cat and the pumpkin picking plan. Written by Rob Scotton. Autumn was one of Splat's favorite seasons. Wow, he loves the autumn. He loves when the leaves are falling off the tree and Mom's raking them all up. I'll help you rake the leaves, Mom, Splat offered. Thank you, Splat, Mom said. Splat was very good at raking leaves. Seymour helped too. Soon they'd made a huge pile. Splat stared at the pile. Suddenly he had a great idea. His tail wiggled wildly. Uh-oh, what's Splat thinking about doing? Splat! Leaves went flying everywhere. He jumped in the giant pile of leaves. And look, Seymour went flying. Splat's mom sighed. Oh, I have an idea, Splat, she said. Why don't you go to Farmer's Patch Pumpkin Patch? You can pick out a pumpkin to decorate and put on our porch. Splat thought that sounded like a great idea. I'll pick the most perfect pumpkin ever, he promised. Splat grabbed his wagon and he and Seymour set off on their way. Splat loved Farmer Patch's pumpkin patch. There was so much to see and do. He saw a very scary scarecrow. Look at the scarecrow under the sign that says, Farmer Patch's Pumpkin Patch. He got lost in the hay bale maze. He tasted fresh apple and fish cider. Ew. Then Splat remembered he was supposed to pick out the perfect pumpkin. The perfect pumpkin should be big, orange, and round, he told Seymour. He found a pumpkin that was very round and very orange. Too small, he announced. The next pumpkin was big and orange. Not round enough, he told Seymour. That is a big pumpkin, but it's not round at all. Seymour found a big round pumpkin. Not orange enough, Splat said. Splat tails wiggled wildly with worry. Would he ever find the perfect pumpkin? But then Splat spotted another pumpkin. It was round. It was orange. It was the biggest pumpkin in the place. Oh, perfect, Splat cried. Mom will love this one. But there was one problem. How was Splat going to get the pumpkin home? This won't fit in my wagon, Splat said. I know, he said. I'll roll it. Oh, no. He put him and the wagon and Seymour on top of the pumpkin and he's gonna roll it home. Splat rolled the pumpkin out of the gate. He rolled it on the road and down a hill. Woo, Splat cried. Splat ran, the pumpkin rolled. The pumpkin wouldn't stop, no matter what Splat did. Help, Splat cried. Oh no, the pumpkin's rolling too fast. Wow, Splat could steer the runaway pumpkin with his feet. He steered over a bridge and in between cars, and right through his front gate. Ah! Finally, the pumpkin stopped. Splat's mom smiled. Oh, Splat, it's perfect, she said. Well done, Splat smiled back. Ah, it was no trouble, he said. No trouble at all. Wow, that silly Splat the cat. He was determined to get the biggest, roundest, most orange pumpkin there was. And he did. 
he found it. It took a while, but he found it. But then when he found it, he was like, how do I get this home? It won't fit in my wagon. So he climbed on top of it and rolled it all the way home. And he gets there to mom and she's like, that's a great pumpkin. And he's like, no problem. But it was a problem. It was a big problem getting it home. But it was worth it because he got the biggest, roundest, most orange pumpkin there is. That was a good plan. Splat the cat and his pumpkin picking plan worked out just right. I love fall and I love going looking for pumpkins. Have you gone to go find a pumpkin yet? Pumpkins are so fun to have around the house in the fall time. They don't last forever, just around fall time. So you might want to go out and find one really, really quick. But not tonight, because it's night for all, tonight it's time for all my little pumpkins to get into bed. I need you to roll under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And if you do go looking for pumpkins, tomorrow. Remember, whatever mom and dad say about your pumpkin, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.